Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by to check out this MyCost Pro tutorial. In this one we're going to show you how to quickly update items to your Product Master tab utilizing the data from your active item list. Uh, and the purpose of this will be to put in your cost of goods sold, your inventory purchase source, and other information into a line item with a with a uh, item you're selling before the item actually sells. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to click the active item list and I'm going to click check active items on eBay and this is looking on your eBay account and seeing what's currently listed. And what I'm going to do is exit the full screen and I'm going to make sure click layout assist is turned off because that will interfere with the clipboard functionality. So when you exited full screen you see the ribbon bar came back and the tabs came back like you would normally see on Excel. And I'm going to copy these to the clipboard just by left clicking and dragging down and once it's selected I'm hitting control C. And then from there you're going to look for this product master tab and you're going to click there. And we're going to, I want to paste just the values not all of the formatting that came with it. So we're going to paste special values. And to do that you right click, select paste special, select values, and you're done. Okay so now you have a record for everything in your active item list uh, in your product detail page. So what I can do is fill in the cost of good for these items. Um, you can use copy and paste like you would like I just described a minute ago with the values only if you want to keep your formatting. You can put in a SKU uh, if you have some way to track your inventory that's your proprietary way. Um, this will pull into your sold information as well and what I'm going to show you here is the CD source. So if this is filled in, when an item sells, it'll pull into your sold item information. You can fill in the shipping information, but uh, we can get that information from the eBay API. So I would only fill this in if you're not shipping through the eBay shipping program. Um, if you have some standardized packaging costs for bubble envelopes or cardboard boxes, you can fill that in and have it auto-populate. Auto um, same thing with the purchase date, and I'm not going to mess with that right now. So the next thing would be to apply this to your um, sold items. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the sold item list now. Alright, so I'm going to go back to full screen mode just so we have more real estate to look at. I'm going to click Home Account Info, and I'm going to make this check for the last 60 days and now I'm going to run the sold list. So this is the first time running. Um, the default is 7 for the first run. You can go up to 90. And I'm going to click download sales from eBay. Okay, and you can see these purchase prices filled in. The postage filled in for um, how much it cost me to ship the item. And if you look into the details, I'm going to click the click layout assist on and you can expand and collapse uh, additional levels of information. I'm going to check the transaction here. You can see the package tracking. You can see the inventory source here. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go look at the home page again. We're going to go to performance snapshot Okay, now I'll show you one way you can use the performance snapshot screen. Um, I put in here the inventory source we want to search for and then the uh, date ranges that I'm interested in and I'm going to click refresh snapshot. And you can see here 18 items have been sold that were from this inventory source. Uh, it gives you the total combined selling price, how much shipping I collected, how much shipping I paid out on those items. Um, how much in eBay fees, PayPal fees, my cost of goods, and then what was my net profit, return on investment, just on these uh, specific uh, inventory source items. And then it tells you your highest profit item that you had queried, and your lowest profit, lowest return on investment, um, and with all those stats listed out. And then you can click on View Filtered List, and this will show you the uh, listed out details of those items. You see these are all from that inventory source and um, you can have the tracking information and whatnot. 
So that's it for this tutorial. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be around on uh, the forum, on Facebook, uh, or wherever. Just uh, shoot me a question if you have one. All right, thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.